It is the end of an era for Coyotes fans. Can you believe it? Today is the last day the Arizona Coyotes will ever play in Glendale. They are heading out of town, and there are a lot of things that are still up in the air. Yeah, a lot of things. Will Pitts joining us live from Gila River Arena. Will, good morning. All right, what's next for this team? A lot of questions. Yeah, a lot of questions, and believe me, they only have about 12, 14 hours left in this building. After years and years of issues with the city and the team, Glendale decided not to renew the Coyotes' lease at Gila River Arena. The city says they think the arena can do just fine without a hockey team. The Coyotes, though, are hoping to build a new arena in Tempe at Rio Salado and Priest. It's currently a city dump. The Tempe Entertainment District would include the arena, commercial, and retail space. The city of Tempe has the team's proposal, but it hasn't actually voted on it yet. And they also have to deal with the airport. Sky Harbor says they have major issues with the cranes that'll have to be there to build everything. It's only two miles from the airport. Basically, the airport says they'd be so high the pilots won't want to fly over them, so they'll all want to fly out of a different runway. And airport officials say that'll mean flight delays and millions of dollars in losses. Now, the Coyotes have said in the past that they will follow all the FAA's regulations for building so close to the airport. In the meantime, though, the Coyotes are headed to ASU. They'll be sharing an arena with ASU's hockey team, and that building is still under construction, but it should be done by October. It's also a lot smaller, only 5,000 seats. Gila River Arena here is about 17,000, and the Coyotes will be there for a little while. Coming up in the next hour, we'll tell you how long they'll be in Tempe and how close that next project is to getting done. Guys, back to you.